Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the next video in my decluttering series. Today we are tackling the kitchen. If you haven't seen my first video about my decluttering journey, I will link it for you up here and I would suggest that you watch that first if you haven't already because that explains why I'm doing what we're doing, what I'm planning to do and all the reasons behind it. So go and check that one out first if you haven't already seen it. In that video I tackled the playroom and managed to massively downsize the amount of toys, books and general stuff that we had up there. It was a complete mess and a complete disaster. So that room is done and now I'm tackling probably the second worst room in the house which is the kitchen. So this is what I'm currently working with for my dishes and small appliances cupboard. As you can see it's quite dark and very unorganised. <laughs> Every so often I'll pull everything out and reorganise it, but it's not long before it's back to looking like this. We have a plate rack for our plates that we use on a regular basis, so this is mostly spares. Then down the bottom we have our toaster, sandwich toaster, some random Tupperware, plastic bags and my juicer, which when I bought it I told Dan I would use every single day. I don't use it every single day. Then the cupboard on the other side of the cooker is for cereal and I've got some Imani's pouches in there, lunchbox bits and pieces, pasta, and then down the bottom, more cereal, porridge, tins, bottles that we don't use often and that kind of thing. It's a bit too dark for you to see very clearly but right at the back we've got bottles of alcohol and things left over from Christmases. And at the back of that one, we've got another bottle of champagne, sauces, tins. It's a big old mess. And don't even get me started on the wall cupboards. It's just a disaster zone. It's one of those things that I organise every so often and then it just goes horribly wrong. So I've got baking stuff at the back there. Rice, couscous, bits and pieces, tea bags tins it's just a big old mess it's kind of organized chaos i know where everything is but it's still a great big mess and then up in this one we've got jars that we don't use very often bottles sauces things like that i am determined that the new house will not be like this we will be far more organized i will have considerably more cupboard space in the new kitchen in the new house so I need it, we are literally bursting out of cupboards. We designed this kitchen, my husband built it himself when we first moved into this house 11 years ago and it was our first decent sized kitchen and we didn't really, I don't know, when we moved into this house I just didn't have that much stuff and we've accumulated it over the years. So I'm looking forward to having a lot more cupboard space but not only that, I'm going to organise the shiz out of it. I'm not going to be somebody that chucks stuff into the cupboard anymore. I'm going to study Emily Norris's kitchen organisation videos because she is the queen of organisation and I've got a lot to learn. I will film the organisation side of it as well so I can share that with you once it's all done. But for now it's going to be all about the decluttering, getting rid of things that we don't need anymore and just streamlining our kitchen equipment. <laughs> Red eyes, strobe lights moving across the walls You're looking like a movie star But I don't know just what you are I've also got this cupboard which is full of um, cookbooks and I went through a phase of collecting vintage china and things. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that actually, whether or not I'll keep it. I think I'll decide as I go along. And lots of bits and pieces in the bottom. But yes, there's plenty I can get rid of in there. We also have this cupboard that Dan did when we move in, which I love. He put these um, cut logs on the front and we use it to store the kids' art sets and masses of paper 
and there's a couple of crates with a few bits in so I'm sure there's lots of this that can go so I'm just going to empty this one out and see what we need to keep and pack. My mum has been here helping me and we've been going back and forth and taking bits and pieces to the new house. So I haven't emptied all the cupboards that I planned to do today. So now I've had to go and get the kids from school and they're now here and getting hungry and ready for tea. So I think I'm gonna have to leave it here for today and then I will show you, I'll show you what I have done and then I'll pick it up again tomorrow and empty the other cupboards that I haven't got around to doing today. So this cupboard is completely empty and sorted out. Everything that I needed to keep has gone over to the other house and these are things that I might need immediately in the next couple of days. This part is completely empty and cleaned out. And over the other side, I've completely emptied and cleaned out this cupboard, which is the one that was full of dishes and a toaster and things like that. Oh, what's that at the back? Uh, I just need to hoover out this bottom one and then that one's completely done. This display cabinet is now completely empty, top and bottom. The only thing I haven't done is the drawer. That is Dan's man drawer and it, I just, I don't even want to go there. And then this log cupboard which used to be full of craft supplies and the kids art cases and stuff. Needs a good clean out but it's completely empty. So that is done as well. This is the contents basically of that display cabinet. I'm only keeping these cookbooks, these are ones that I particularly love and use a lot. I've, then this is the big massive um, thing of paper from that log cupboard. Sandwich toaster, bottle of champagne, ice cream machine, which even though I was tempted to get rid of it because it is like a necessary appliance, the kids and I do have fun experimenting with ice cream flavors in the summer, so I will keep it. Um, and that's about it. So it's day two of Operation Declutter the Kitchen and today I'm going to tackle the food cupboards, the medicine and herbs and spices and things like that and the glasses and mugs cupboard. Also we have little pots and bowls in those cupboards that are filled with just general life piff. So screws and allen keys and copper coins and paper clips and old headphones that don't work so I'm planning to go through all of that as well and hopefully throw the majority of that away. Things like this, this is a pot that is literally just full of coppers and this aqua bead thing that Marion has made and I don't even know what that is, a washer. So there's plenty of things like this lurking in the backs of cupboards so I just want to go through them. What do you even do with coppers? Can you take them to the bank and have them changed into like proper money? I don't know, let me know, because <laughs> otherwise I just, I don't want to put them back in a cupboard and leave them there for another five years. So I've bagged up a load of books which are, hello Bailey, which are um, cookbooks that I do, I still like them, they're books that I've, I've enjoyed using but I just need to get a grip, I've got literally dozens and dozens of cookbooks. Excuse the mess of the floor, I'm actually in the garage because I'm just gonna leave them in here until the kids school fair because they're perfect for donating to that. So that's a big bag full of books. <laughs> out all the wall cupboards so I've got a bag of cups and mugs and glasses not an ideal way to move things over but we're only going down the road so hopefully none of them will get broken then we've got um, clean mason jars with all my ingredients and bits and pieces in some tins with some food and this is all the food from my cupboards that I'm keeping that was still in date and we don't need immediately so that's all going over today I've also been through all of our first aid um, sort of medicine shelf and thrown away anything that was out of date and now it's all organised in this plastic bin which is great um, and everything fits quite nicely in there and I also did the same with our herbs and spices and cleaned the tops of the containers and threw out any that were out of date and there were a few that were shockingly out of date so I'm pleased that I've had a good sort through those. Really 
annoying that they don't all fit into one though, but I guess this leaves room for any that I need to rebuy because I have to throw some away. And the cupboard that I showed you yesterday that was literally overflowing with food has all been sorted out. Anything that was out of date that was right at the back has been disposed of. And I've just put things that we will need for the next couple of days, like oil and salt and butter, tea bags, multivitamins, cream eggs, and anything, and Marni snacks and things like that, that are essentials. Everything else has been bagged up to take over to the new house. I'm swaying